There we are. We seem to be in two parts these days. This happened last night. I don't know if it's overload in the system or what happens, but this happened last night and we actually lost the live feed for a few seconds. So there you go, guys. So if you're back, that is fantastic. I do not know what happened there, but everything seemed to freeze up. Am I right in thinking that you lost the live link for a couple of seconds? Do let me know. Start typing and tell us what is what. That would be fantastic. So if we did lose the live link, then share, 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 share. It's beyond my control. Do you not remember when television was starting? Um, they used to say, due to circumstances beyond our control. And then when the film broke down, the announcer popped up. I've done it myself and said, we are sorry for the interruption to our programs. Normal service will be resumed as soon as possible. So there we go. Fantastic. Wadge says he's back. Good man, Wadge. It was the music, I think, that did it, says Joanne. Mingus or Menzies, Joanne, come on, come on and tell me. So there we are. Everybody's inviting me to connect. It's wonderful. I'm getting everybody on LinkedIn too. I think that is tremendous. And remember, we're live. If you want to call in, you can do so. I had a discussion with a guy earlier and he was going, you just seem to be reading out things. That's what the show's about. As I say, it's so strange that people want something different to what they have. And then there was another guy saying, I watched Scotty McClure. What's that about? Is it a spoof? I mean, is it is it the pub landlord? Is it, um, you know, Mrs. Merton type thing? You think, no, it's Scotty McClure. What you see is what you get. So there you are. It does what it says in the tin. Uh, give us JS back. Um, yes, we probably could. Okay, uh, there's been whispers that is down to the use of the angry face, but not sure, says Laura Sojourner. Have I done an angry face, Laura? Uh, Giuseppe Boschetti, uh, fantastic. You're with us, Giuseppe. What a top man. Keep your fingers off the electrics, says Jarvis. Always do, Jarvis. Don't worry about that. I'm actually serious about the music. Facebook have clamped down on music and videos due to musicians wanting more cash. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not really playing anything of any great uh, establishment, to be quite honest with you. So I don't think it'd be that. Can you play my fanny, says Julie and Scott. Um, now, how does that go again? It's a lovely Welsh number, uh, my fanny. Um, how it goes? Is that my fanny? Is that right? So if you could tell us, Julianne, did I get it right? Um, to, to your telephones, of course, you can Skype in Scotty.McClue. Right, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to the programme and a very, very happy new year to all of you. A very happy 2017. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Scotty McClure, of course. I am the world's top broadcaster, and you will see me throughout social media. I'm in my 25th year. This is the silver jubilee of the Scotty McClure Massive Mighty Megaphone In. So get on to YouTube and uh, have a look there. Get on to LinkedIn. If you're a business person and you want to join up in LinkedIn and you want to do something, you want to use Scotty McClure's voice to sell your productions. So there you go. Uh, say hi to the wife, Scotty. Tracy, says Albert McSquared. Absolutely. This is pronounced me fan we, says Julie and Scott. Me fan we. So there we are. It's not me fan e, it's me fan we. Uh, it cut off. It took ages to reload, says Angie. Well, it will do, Angie, I think, actually, because there's a lot on the McClue pages. Now, have you got your squeeze box tonight, says Evan Thompson. Evan, it's funny you should say that because... I think if I search around here for a moment or two, I will be able to find you the squeeze box. There you go. And we might even get a tune at some point. So there you are. So if you're very good, you'll get a tune on the squeeze box.
There you go. There's your number five. Happy New Year, Scotty. Says Ron Stewart. That's it, says Julianne. Absolutely. Oh, no, says George Mullen. Who sang it, Scotty? Who sang what? Uh, Marvellous, says Jarvis Butler. Yes, of course, Jarvis. Just for you. So there you are. A wee number in the squeeze box. Julianne loves it. Fantastic stuff. Woohoo, says Jarvis Butler. Now, just to let you know, the reason the show was so successful last night and can I say to you, share and share and share, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure Live on Facebook Live every Sunday night, 2200 hours Greenwich Mean Time in the summer, British summertime. And if you're in the United States of America, where Scotty McClure is regarded as something of a demigod, then um, you'll be five hours behind us. So you will be right now at, I would say, half past five half past five in the evening if you're in the united states of america so there we are a shout to louisa from bassford in nottingham we did that scotty i've just added your linkedin says joanna k jackson fantastic joanna k that is just what we want can you play the fiddle says peter mccrea but my father was a wonderful wonderful fiddler mm, um james scott skinner's the cradle song Cheers. So there we are. Um, so was Michael the only one with a paddle in your squeeze box tune? Absolutely. I can't wait to set the Skype up again, says Jarvis Butler. Well, go on, get the Skype going, Jarvis. Scotty, I'm from Linwood says uh, Laura. Fantastic, Laura. A lovely part of the world. And Lil Johnson Lever says, your CV is enormous, man. Well done, you. Yes, it is a good CV. But of course, it calls for very specialist jobs. That's the thing, Anna Lil. But I mean, I could set up radio stations, television stations, run the businesses. Never a problem. I've only met one bad man in my whole life, and he knows who he is. And that's one bad man out of all the years in business i've uh, always done stuff on a shaky hand and it's what but uh, one bad man ran away with a few quid uh, but apart from that um all is well so if you want a successful business if you want to bring huge audiences into your business do let us know fantastic rendition of the trumpet voluntary by Jeremiah Clark, e -da 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 -dee 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 -dee. Paul Francis Carroll. So there we are. Swell to greet, my dear friend, I say. And um, on to choir, and then on to greet. Uh, you got sacked from most of them, says Graham Allen. Graham, that's complete and utter nonsense. I've never actually been sacked in my life from any radio station. So there we are. They didn't renew the contract at Scott FM because it was just too successful it was skewing the market and the new people that bought the station weren't prepared to have everything all the excitement and the press following and the television programs and everything that comes with having Scotty McClue linked to your radio station so they panicked a bit they didn't renew the contract it was obviously doing very big things in the market to stations that had been there for 20 years and what have you because very very quickly we'd built Scott Ev up so there's never been any sacking of McClue at all so you need to sort that out Graham and get your act together and I've had one tiny complaint which was actually probably wrongly upheld in 30 years so there you are so that's not bad 35,000 hours of broadcasting live one tiny complaint you need to add Laurie to your program you've seen our films haven't you says Anna Lil Johansson Lever I haven't seen everything yet so uh, we'll need to do that and get Laurie I wouldn't mind interviewing you guys and finding out what's going on out there because this program we've just started this is only number 15 it's a drop in the ocean it's a Facebook video and it's live on a Sunday night so it's one hour so it started off just as a bit of fun a wee bit of a giggle um, and uh, then the next thing is of course it just went absolutely bananas because Scotty McClure does that everyone wants a piece of Scotty McClure so there you go. Graham's just trying to wind you up, says George. I think so, yes, absolutely. But I mean, you've got to clear these things up because people are like, oh, did he not get sacked? No, 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 we didn't. Uh, so there we are. Uh, 2,000 pound fines, pretty cheap these days. Well, it is when you're bringing in millions. 
Uh, Scott is a legend. I mean, that's another thing. I've worked at radio stations that have sold for millions and millions and millions of pounds. I didn't get a share of it, of course, but the uh, the people, the powers that be, managed to trouser a good few quid. So there you go. So good luck to them, I say. And it's great. We love it. Bananas, lol. Yes, of course, Anna Lil Johansson Lever. It was an element of banana uh, dom about broadcasting. Scotty the legend says Ron Stewart. Who's the young handsome guy in the background? Says Evan Thompson. That's me, Evan. There I am. I cannot tell you a fib. Let's see. I'll show you. I'll give you a wee, a wee preview. There you go. There he is. Oh, oh. And I think there's another one. Oh. There's Lord Reith the dog. You can see Lord Reith the dog. Fantastic. And a wonderful, wonderful dog. With me for 13 years. And now awaits me at Rainbow Bridge. Uh, is having your contract re not renewed not the same thing as been taken off here, says Graham Allen? No. What it is, you've got to remember that the bosses at the station absolutely loved Scotty McClure. They loved me. And then they sold the station. So you'd completely new people coming in. This has happened twice. And uh, then in Manchester, Jeremy Kyle took over from me. You probably know Jeremy. Uh, so there you are. Old photos, says Josh Wallen. Yes, of course they are. They are a bit old photos. I mean, I'll show you this one. This is an old photo. This was my father doing guard duty with the Cameron Highlanders in India. Can you see that? There's my father. So, yes, there's an element of the old photo about it. But I think if we don't have our history, if we don't know where we've come from, then we don't know where we are and we don't know where we're headed. I hope you like the gear tonight, folks. Black tie, of course. Everybody very keen on that. You're too good to get the sacks, says Steve Burrows. No, it's not getting the sacks, Steve. I think it's the fact that other people think this is far too big for us. We're never going to be able to handle this. There's newspapers involved. There's television. He's on the telly most nights. It's massive, you know, and just some people, I think, just feel that's that's too much for them. So there you are. A bunch of time now, please, says Jarvis. Well, I've been sorting out my spice rack, Jarvis, over the holiday period. And somebody said, how do you get the time? And I said, it's just next to the sage. So there we are, RST. Uh, we need you back in the airwaves, Scotty. You made my nights go so quick, legend, says Carol Morris. I love all the new people joining us. Peter McQueer, do you get a housemaid um, or a wife? says Peter, a housemaid or a wife. Why is the place looking immaculate? Graham, you'll know about contracts not being renewed. <laughs> says George Mullet. Fantastic. I'm from Iceland, says Jarvis. Well, Jarvis, they're a wonderful shop, I'll tell you that. Right, um, to your Skype, if you want to come on and wish me a happy new year, it's scotty.mcclue. I'll just make sure that the Skype's all there for you. Hold on. So there we are, online status, and there we are. So you know that McClue's online with Skype. Scotty dot McClue. If you want to Skype in, I can talk to you on here. I'll just make sure everything's working. We've got very basic equipment. If you uh, want to contribute to the show, then that would be very much appreciated. A lot of you have, and it really is appreciated, guys. I can tell you that for nothing. Hold on two seconds. Just till I pop this in here. There we go. That's that. And that goes in there. Right. Um, now, if you'd like to contribute to the show, and you don't have to, it's absolutely free, gratis, and for nothing. McClue survives on applause or derision decided by you. There's no license fee, nothing like that. That's another one we need to. Scotland could do with its own broadcasting. So there you are. Ian Grant says, I'm from Asda. I know Ian. I see you there. Fantastic. I'm from Farm Foods 7. Yes, all the adverts. Thank you very much. Any more news on the new job, Scotty? It's not fell through, has it? It's not fallen through, you would say. You wouldn't say fell, George. So I'm something of a grammarian, so I like to keep you sorted out there. Um, no, it's not fallen through at all. I just can't tell you too much, but it is very, very exciting news, and it's being discussed at a very, very, very high level. And we like that. So I'm not at liberty to say I have to keep my gob zipped as I do. How did your Christmas and New Year go? It says Erica Meyer. It was fantastic, Erica. It was absolutely gorgeous. And cheers to you all. A very, very happy 2017. Mm. Now, there's almost room for water there. 
so there you go. Happy New Year, Scotty, says Daniel Bile. It won't be too good for a professional like you, Scotty, says Steve. Steve, you say the loveliest things. I thank you very much. So there we are. But what I'd like, I've approached the television companies as well and said to them, why don't they do this program at night on their television company? You know what I mean? So actually, my clue pops up, uh, say, uh, you know, 11 o'clock, something like that. And we have an hour's chat together. And perhaps a company who also had access to telephones as well. And, um, you know, they could uh, they could do that. You could have free phones and we could all chit chat. But the nation does need to talk because at the moment, the politicians don't quite realise it, but they're struggling because they're not in touch with the people. So when a politician opens their mouth at the moment, people go, it's not discussed. Brexit, we had a referendum, but we didn't discuss it. If the phone-ins had all been going, we could have discussed it. The Scottish referendum, not properly discussed by the people, the people who matter. Yes, you had people giving opinions, ideas. A lot of it was nonsense as well. But to get down to the real nitty-gritty and say, look, we know you have an agenda and you don't want to lose Scotland, but get used to the idea that that will happen at some point. And, you know, we'll talk about it. Uh, Steve in Glasgow needs this two hours, says George. Um, I'm from the best day parcel company you can use, says Graham. Fantastic, Graham. Dinky do, pass the parcel. And, uh, you know, do you not remember people used to play knock, door, run? So there you are. And uh, they used to just knock the door and run away. Um, what was it called? Ring, bang, scoosh was another one. Ring, bang, scoosh and uh, all that sort of stuff so absolutely incredible anyway so there we go uh, i'll just sort this out just broadcasting at the moment thank you very much indeed uh, excellent so there we go that's that and um sorry about that there we are. <laughs> somebody not realizing and um, now then top secret negotiations taking place for scotty to be the new judge on strictly come dancing says steve webster not to my knowledge, Steve, but a lovely idea. I'll tell you, I think I would make an excellent judge on X Factor or Britain's Got Talent or one of these Simon and, uh, you know, all the other wonderful people and McClue just tacked on at the end there with my knowledge of music and drama. We could do that. And uh, ring, ring, Bobby Knocking, says Julianne Scott. Really? So that's what's called down in, in, in Wales, Bobby Knocking. And uh, what, um, chap, chappy knocky, chappy knocky. Now, I think that's an Ayrshire one. When somebody told me, I thought that was a place in Ayrshire, you know, chappy knocky. But she's from chappy knocky. Loving the waistcoat, mate, this is Carol Morris. Thanks very much, Carl. Scotty, do you wear fishnet or lycra? Um, I don't know, Jarvis, what are you talking about here? You obviously have a more interesting private life than me. Um, Peter says you missed your PPI call. <laughs> yes, or knock doon ginger, says Julie and Scott. Well, there you are. Well, anyway, knock door run, chappy knocky, ring bang scoosh. You call it what you like, but nowadays I think it's mainly the postman that does that, you know. Knock the door and run away with the parcel. There's a parcel. Oh, your neighbour, parcel with neighbour, parcel under bush. Uh, in an era of instant social media, the traditional radio phone-ins are a thing of the past. Oh, sorry. In an era of instant social media, our traditional radio phone-ins are a thing of the past, Scotty, says Tony Kay. No, Tony, I don't think they'll ever be a thing of the past. The problem is people run away from it. And a lot of these phone-ins that you have now are not genuinely interesting. I would always like to think that the Scotty McClue Massive Mighty Mega phone-in has always been stimulating and interesting and has an element of uh, of upfrontness about it so there's an honesty and an integrity about the scotty McClue massive mighty megaphone in and i think you'll find that a lot of radio phones they try and contrive it the public are very very smart because they are you and me they think i'm not phoning in for that away you go so they don't actually get the calls uh, so there you are so no i don't think the traditional phone-ins are a thing of the past i don't think radios are a thing of the past but i think a lot of radio companies 
are making it go into limbo by treating it as a jukebox and saying, now we own this radio station, we'll give it a name, we'll play the same song half a dozen times over all day long, and we'll tell the DJ to shut his gob. And, you know, the public are eventually going to say, I'm not listening to that, I'm away to hear Scotty McClure on Facebook live. So there we go. I remember knocking on two doors in the same landing with a rope tied to both doors. Brilliant fun, says Dan. <laughs> if you've got another name for it. Uh, I loved that when Chappy Noki came to me quite recently. Yes, you're a fountain of knowledge, says Jarvis. Well, you see, Jarvis, remember I was doing radio phone-ins when there was no search engines, there was no Google or anything like that. So it had to all come from my head. My head, Jarvis. I had to come off the top of my head. Scotty, have you been injured in a car crash? You know, you can claim. Um, a guy on the phone told me I could do this week. <laughs> Phone-ins only work in Glasgow. Funny people make Glasgow. Not at all. My phone-in was right across Scotland. Tremendous. Cent well, central Scotland. Uh, two and a half million. Then we went down to Newcastle. Massive success there. Then we went to um, Sheffield and to Yorkshire, to Hull massive success there and then we went to manchester uh preston liverpool the northwest of england massive success there uh, we did uh, a show filling in for james whale on talk radio and um you know i would quite like to do more national radio because i think the phone in should be national scotty you've got great patter keep it up dinky do says kevin byers whiplash says Evan Thompson. Oh, your private life's your own, Evan. Uh, STV, two hours with guests, says George Mullen. Fantastic. Great company. And of course, I used to work for STV for a number of years um, and do all their um, newscasting and announcing. RTA Radio 1, oh yes, Radio Television, has a good mix of talk shows, phone-ins and a little music. Listen to it on Longwave. 252, says Stephen Nunnally. There are great stations around if you hunt around, and I think radio people, you see, the whole thing about radio is that we choose to listen. We choose what program. So it's an appointment to listen. Whereas if you're wanting to see a program on television, you'll watch what surrounds that. You might even listen to some of the adverts, all that sort of thing. So there you are. Um, so what have we got? Oft, great crack, says Jarvis Butler. Cheers, Jarvis. Have a lovely, lovely night. What is the time? Oh, for goodness sake, can everybody share and share and share this program? Tell 10 to tell 10, every single one of you watching right now has access to social media. Spread all this about like confetti. McClue should be like confetti running through the whole of the internet so that everybody can come and join us and it will make for a fabulous show and you will all benefit. So there you are. Um, right, keep this going till 12 midnight. It's bro, mate, says Kevin Byers. No, we have to push off at 10, Kevin, because we have to upload everything onto YouTube as well. Um, I'm trying so hard, says Jarvis. Jarvis, you are. You are a trier. Nobody can say anything but that. Nigel Bond, Scotty, I'm starting on a commercial radio station tomorrow, but they want the presenters to talk for 60 seconds. But that's the way it goes today, dinky do. Well, Nigel, that's not presentation. That's you just doing everything you're told. You see, when I started radio, we were the output. We were the personalities. And as long as you did nothing absolutely glaringly wrong, the programmers let you get on with it, and you lived and died by the size of your audience. Now, my audiences are massive. They run into hundreds of thousands, and the programmers just love it. But it takes a very switched-on programmer to go, that's what I want on my station. And I say, you know, if you take Scotty McClure, you'll get a very, very big audience. Erica says, bye from Australia. Good night from Australia. Dinky do Australia. Good night and good morning. Uh, three set up Skype. So there you are. You know, you'll get a very, very big audience to go, I don't mind. That's what we want. That's what it's all about. That's what we're paying you for. And, um, you know, you get them a big audience. They can then sell that audience to their advertisers. 
I miss your Scott FM, Thorn Ends has gone, Jimison. Yes, God, now that was an absolute winner. Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio hour to date. But I have some plans. We may be able to, uh, we may be able to uh, have another great uh, radio hour. That was so intellectual, says Jarvis Butler. Of course, we're very, very intellectual on here. Yes, Scott FM, I mean, it would just have gone from strength to strength. If Scott FM was running now, it would have the whole radio market for central Scotland. The rest would just be poor wee chunters, as Scott FM was described by one radio boss. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, if you get a radio job, are we all out the windows, says George? Certainly not, George. I never, ever forget my audience. You can come with me and join me on the radio. So there you are, or television, if it's a television company. Uh, dinky do to you, Scotty, says Erica Meyer. What a wonderful thing. What's your secret, says Jarvis Butler. What do you mean secret, Jarvis? Where are you getting this from? Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's tremendous. Right, can you all get sharing, 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 please? We've only got nine minutes left. Time is tight. And remember to watch the Scotty McLuhan New Year special, the Hogmanay bash from last night. It's on there, it's on YouTube. You'll get it if you click back on Scotty McClure's Facebook page and share it, share it, share it so everybody can see it because the reason everybody came piling in is because the television was so poor. I know how to do Hogmanay. They don't seem to know how to do Hogmanay because they're not in touch with the people. Remember, I've spent 35,000 hours in people's houses talking to them three hours a night, talking to my audiences. So I know my audiences very, very well. That's part of the success, and they know me. Uh, your gift is your knowledge, says Jarvis. I used to present on Sunny Govan Radio, says Steph McElhern. A very good station, Steph. I've listened. Uh, what station, says George Mullen, TV, radio? George, I can't divulge it. You don't understand. Zip. Stum. Keep that okay so there you go fit to bust and you do share says jarvis yes i share of course i do if everybody can keep sharing dinky do so scotty memories of listening to you in yorkshire while lost in the middle of nowhere and broken down in my ford during the night back in 1998 no, oh, no, no disrespect for what excellent car. Any car can break down. Uh, Phil Jones Hammersley. I can remember when I uh, drove a certain make of car. I won't say it. When somebody said, the one you want to get here is the big V8 one with all the stuff, Scotty. And I said, is that a fantastic car? He went, it's very comfortable while you're waiting for the breakdown service. Um, are you on the brew, the iron brew, or is that fire water? This is Daniel Ball. You will never know, Daniel. You will never know. Here's Numpty Head coming. Let's hear what Numpty Head is up to. Numpty Head. Dinky do Hello. Numpty Head. Hello. How are Scott, you? Scotty. Yes. I've got a cold, Scotty. A cold? Aye, aye. I keep blowing the nose and I've got the tickly throat. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for sharing. Too much information, Numpty I just, I just thought I'd share that with the world, because they can hear me in America. They can hear you in America. They can hear me in Canada. Canada. The, the Argentina place. Argentina, you know. the Tierra del Fuego. And, and, and the good thing is, Scotty, uh, it saves on the phone bill. It saves on the phone bill. Can you hear me, Numpty Heat? If I speak into well, yes, my microphone? Can you hear me? I'm, I'm not hearing you too well, Scott. Right, hold on, Numpty Head. Can you hear me better now? Ah, you're coming through loud. There you go, Numpty Head. How about that? Absolutely. I, ah. I look after my people. Absolutely. Here, Scotty, the telly was mints last it night. It was absolute mints, but did you watch Scotty McClue's Hogmanay Bash? I had to watch it the day, Scotty. All oh, right, right. Are you busy last night? Well, no, because I was in bed with the flu. Oh, you've got the flu. Oh, it's not uh, man flu, is it? Is it genuine it's, flu? It's the Scotty McClue. It's the Scotty McClue flu. <laughs> ah, the man flu. How do you do? <laughs> Aye. Do you I, know what I did last night, Scotty? Yes. I watched Scotch and Rye on YouTube to make I up. I know what you mean. Bath time, yes, you know. wonderful. Ricky Fulton, a marvellous man. And um, uh, uh, Kate... And Ricky wrote to me when I was at Scott FM. I didn't tell you all this. And, uh, uh, you know, they were great fans of Scotty McClure. And Jack oh, McClure, well. lovely, lovely people. 
Absolutely. Was this before email? Yes, yes, there was no there was no email. Oh my goodness me, no, we didn't have any of that. How much was a stamp back then? About nine pence. Uh, penny black. <laughs> oh, have you got a penny black there? Penny I'll black. buy off you. I'll give you two pence. And, and for a that. penny red. I'll tell you, I got invited by a very nice man uh, to go and hear him lecture on the postal service. Oh, here, yes, Scott, you'd be there all day. Oh, no, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Roland Hill, of course, and the Postal Service coming in. And letters uh, uh, used to be very, very expensive to send a letter, Mumpty Heat. Oh, quite believe it. Did you get a free lunch? Uh, well, he very kindly brought me a drink and a meal, so yes. Did you yes. get a finger buffet? Fantastic. It was, it was even better than that. It was a sit-down dinner. Ah, uh, here, listen, you're on the pass tonight. Never a dull moment, Numpty Heed. Anyway, Absolutely. I had better dash because we're running short of time. Now, uh, yeah, stick, stick your tongue out and say ta-ta. Stick your tongue out and say ta-ta. Ba-ba, Numpty Heed. Ba-ba, McClure. And you get your act together and get well soon. I will, I'll do my best. And dinky-doo. Dinky-doo. <laughs> Numpty Heed, a caller from many, many years ago. Fantastic stuff. Lumpty Heed, and uh, he was on there. George Mullen thinks it's a setup. No, George, it's not a setup at all. He has just phoned the postal service. Shoot me now, says George Mullen. Quality, says Jarvis. How are we for time? Oh, we've only got four minutes, folks. Time for a share. So get sharing. Dinky do. Share, 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 share. And remember, of course, you can go on to YouTube. And there's a warm welcome to YouTube, so listen to that. I just recorded it the other day, and uh, you've got a warm welcome to Scotty McClue's YouTube. Would you refuse a New Year's honour for services to broadcasting, says Steve Webster. It's funny because the honours service was brought in. The honours, sorry, the honours system, I beg your pardon, for services was brought in uh, during the two world wars, and it was a lovely, lovely link between the people and the palace, the people, and the monarchy. And, of course, the British Empire was doing its stuff. Too many texts, um, says George. So it was doing its stuff, and it was fantastic. Uh, but the thing is, nowadays, people are thinking, you know, what do these honours actually mean? You see, I go back to Burns to give some power of the gifty gears to see ourselves as others see us, and then to his man's a man for all that when he says... The rank is but the guinea stamp. The man's the man for all that. A man's a man for all that. So he's talking about see yon belted knight, right? And uh, the man of independent mind lives and laughs at all that. Now, I'm not saying we should be laughing at the honour system. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a remarkable thing. Um, but, as I say, you know, it's 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 a different day. It needs it certainly needs looking at. Uh, in laughter, of course, a wee tune, Scotty says Evan. With too many texts. When are you back on live, Scotty? This is hilarious, says Kevin. Uh, we'll not be back till next Sunday night, Kevin. I might do a little promo on the Saturday. And as you see, it's a black tie due tonight, so we're well turned out. Uh, Pussy Nancy's says. Jarvis and you, son. No, Pussy Nancy, of course. Pussy Nancy's tavern, uh, you know, in uh, Mocklin in Ayrshire. Was that right? Pussy Nancy's where Burns used to go. And the Cotter Saturday night. Hello, Happy New Year, says Jane MacDonald. Jane, my darling, a Happy New Year to you. Lovely to hear from you. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue and all his viewers throughout the world. Dinky Doo, Toddle Loo, the new, says Albert McSquared. We'll see you, Albert. We'll get more discussions about the royal family scotty one of those waiting a while tonight there's been a short hour the wee moose says jarvis butler oh to a moose ah oh, poor wee timorous beastie oh what a panic's in thy breastie then need me start a wassy hasty i would be loath to run and chase thee with modern prattle so there you are uh, right uh, happy new year says everybody and uh, scotty give us a new year resolution for all us indie two people. Daniel, get Scotland its own independent broadcasting with its own regulator. So if you've got contacts with the Scottish government, say to them, we need to have control of our own broadcasting. Otherwise, indie two will become, develop into the kind of fast that indie one 
developed into or the indirect developed into so we need to have control of our own media in scotland and not just badge engineering listen to scotty mcclue talking to john gaunt on youtube scotty mcclue talks to john gaunt about scottish independence listen to that and also listen to scotty mcclue's media interview with nick margerison and you'll get a feel for what i'm talking about here i think the topic for next week should be nuts and bolts well we'll get down to the nuts and bolts of it i have to call on skype sometimes scotty says joanna k jackson you do joanna k from maine in the usa time just fly by shout out to josh callum mack and christopher says josh edwards of course josh thank you do uh, another half hour come on women drivers scotty says evan thompson I was watching the women drivers on Hogmanay and at Christmas time because uh, I go up. It's quite good sport if there's nothing on the telly. Watch the women trying to park in the car park at the supermarket. And I promise you, it's, it's better than a pantomime. So there we are. And watch them just watching and watching when they're absolutely clear. They watch and watch and watch. Uh, yes, Scott, you should do a midweek broadcast. An hour's no enough, says Angie Thompson. Evan, I'm with you. Half an hour, please, says Kevin Byrne. What's the time? Oh, we need to go. Right, folks, take great care of yourselves. A very, very happy new year to you. And I hope you have a great 2017. Keep in the light. It's, it's all very well for a child to be afraid of the dark. One can understand that. But grown-ups should not be afraid. Of This is Scotty McClure saying to you, have a gorgeous, gorgeous 2017. Do your very best. Stick with me. Share everything throughout social media and we will build this program just for you, dinky do. <clears throat> I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of Weter Zane. Au revoir and a cheerio. Cheerio, loves, and dinky-doo.